Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, we will see how to find T star, the critical value, for a one sample confidence interval for a mean, also known as a one sample T interval. A random sample is selected from an approximately normal population with unknown standard deviation. Find the degrees of freedom and the critical T value, T star, for the given sample size and confidence level. So let's start with A. We have a sample size of 6 and a desired confidence level of 90%. For a one sample T, the DF is always N minus 1 for a one sample T. So in this case, our degrees of freedom is going to be 6 minus 1, which is 5. And now to find the critical value T star, we'll need a T table. So let's look at a T table here. We have the degrees of freedom listed here. As the degrees of freedom go up, we know that the T curve becomes closer to the Z curve, the normal curve. So incidentally, if you need to find Z star, you use rho infinity. So Z star, use rho infinity. But for T star, we use rho corresponding to the degrees of freedom. So here we're going to use rho corresponding to DF is 5. And then find the column that corresponds to 90% confidence. So here's 90% here. And trace those, trace across DF is 5. And confidence level is 90%. And where they meet, that's our T star. So T star is 2.015. Part B, what will be the degrees of freedom? N minus 1, in this case, is 20. And now use row 20 and a confidence level of 98% and find T star. So for DF is 20 and our confidence level is 98%, where those meet at 2.528, so that is our T star here. Okay, we'll leave C and D as exercises for you to do, but one more note, if the desired DF does not appear on the table, round down to the next smallest DF that is on the table. So for example, let's say we want a DF of 45. We can see that 45 is not on the table, so to be more conservative, we'll round the DF down to 40. Uh, of course, that actually means going up on the table. So, round to the next smallest DF, in this case 40, and we wanted a confidence level of 90%. So here, our T star that we'll use uh, will be approximately 1.684. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.